Hello everyone, Jessica Cobasi here, and I'm going to be going over curves today and different ways that you can use curves to enhance the color of your pictures. So this is my original picture. Uh, this has been retouched. So I'm going to go on over to layer, new adjustment layer, and then curves. Or if you'd like, if you're really super lazy, just, just click this little thing right here. It's the same thing. So let us begin by identifying what tabs do what. So we have the RGB tab right here, red, green, and blue. So the RGB is going to control, I mean, in my the, the brightness, the contrast of the picture. This makes a huge impact on, you know, what kind of mood you're setting for the picture. So as you can see, we're by hiring and lowering these points. Oh, I'm really sorry if I go ahead. I kind of get ahead of myself. Let's just start from the beginning. By hiring this, we're pulling out more white. And by lowering it, we're going back to the original. And by hiring this high point right here, or by lowering, we are darkening the picture. So as you can see, moving the higher point and the lower point will get you different effects and this is all depending on what kind of picture you like. I like to literally just play around with this. Let's see. Lowering this. Lowering this gives you less contrast. If you want a picture that's not really high contrast, you're going to want to bring this up right here. It's going to bring out more gray. So I'm going to show you the before and after for that. Let's see what else this can do. I had it really good the first time I did this. It turned out really good and I'm like, okay, I forgot which one it was. Something like this. But let's just not get too crazy. Let's, let's put it right there for now kind of like a curvy shape right here and then we're gonna go ahead and go to red you can make a new point by just simply clicking so you can literally make as many points as you want now let's say you don't want this point anymore you just cl press click and hold and then you just drag it until it's gone so you just literally just drag drag it out eventually it'll just go away They'll get the hint. It'll leave. I don't really use red a lot. You could use red. But normally, like, the first thing I do is I go to blue because it's kind of the curve that I like. It brings out, like, a nice yellow. Or if you bring this up, it brings out a nice blue. And if you take the bottom part, if you pull it up, it's going to bring out all the blues in replacement of the black. So... If you literally just play around with the entire curve, you get some cool effects right here. You, sometimes, most photographers will just use a curve. I know some photographers who just use a curve, and they're done for the day. I can't, I mean, I can't do that, but um, I do use curves a lot. So let's go on over to the green, see what this does. So even something like this, you can set this to lighten, which doesn't, which is pretty much the same thing. You can set this over to soft light color, which is, would be great if it didn't look so weird for this picture. Let's just put this to normal for now. So even right now, it did make a huge difference. Let's zoom out and show you guys. And zoom back in. Let's go back to the blue. Bringing out more blues right here. So it's all about just playing around with the curve. If you want more contrast, like if this picture is too washed out for you, you could easily change that. Just hire these points.
something like that. And also, I offer curves on my website for free. So let's say you do have a curve and you want to use it. Go ahead to this little arrow right here. Just go to load curves preset. And I already have mine. Um, my, one of my favorites is Daisy Spell, which I made. So you just double click that and it just adds it in there for you. And of course, it's going to be different with every picture. Not every curve is going to work with every picture. Um, it's just playing around with it and figuring out what colors work with what picture. And the same goes with actions, too. So you can set these to different layers, you know, play around with them, go crazy. So I hope I give you a good overview of you know what curves can be used for there's I mean there's other things people use this for I personally don't get too crazy with these things right here honestly like this right here you can literally just draw the curve but I just like to modify it by points but if you really really wanted to you could do it this way it's kinda of fun to write too who doesn't like to like scribble like hey so, okay getting a little carried away here so hopefully um, that helped you kind of get the idea of what curves can be used for and if you'd like to request any tutorials please um, comment below and I'll be more than happy to make one thank you for watching